Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Look at this photograph. There it is. Now, everyone who's listening to this fucking show is stuck singing Nickelback the rest of the day. You're welcome. We've got Kirill on the show. Do you have to? I don't know the laws. Can yeah. you? How much of that can you? Eight seconds. Say? Eight seconds. You're only allowed eight seconds. Eight seconds. Or you have to do what? Well, you have to to fuck Avril Lavigne's clone. And then, and then you get the rights to the full song. Well, then you have to go and fuck Chad Kroger, the lead singer of Nickelback. Wait, who's who's doing the fucking? Is it me or him? Uh, it's gonna be you on the on both. So, well, I'm good with that. All right, you you fuck Chad I'm Kroger. Dominating one of the fucking or most Avril Lavigne's talent, clone. Talented. I'm dominating one of the most well-paid musicians of the tw- 2000s. Kroger, yeah. Right. Talking so about Kroger, that's yeah. A, that, I can justify that in my brain. How, what is move. Chad Kroger's net worth? It's got to be in the 400 Oof. million. Range, you think. Yeah. 400 million? You're no, right. no. That's a lot. That's a, somebody fact check that. Look, Look up, up Chad now. Kroger's net worth. There's no way it's four hundred million dollars. They own the dollars. masters to those songs after the this masters. Of time? You, they threw those away after they printed <laughs> them the first time. <laughs> no, Chad I'm, Kroger is worth eighty million dollars. You're That's welcome, still way dude. Too much. Hey, do you know how much Avril, Avril Lavigne is worth? She writes. She's written some of the biggest hits of all time. So is she just like that dude? Didn't like Juicy J or one of those? Uh, like That's that underrated- Scandinavian dude. Do you remember him? What the fuck's his name? He's written like. Uh, hit me, baby, one more time, and like twenty-six oh, yeah, yeah, number yeah, one yeah, pop yeah, singles. Yeah. I don't. I think he's from uh, Sweden or something. What were you talking about? Uh, Three Six Mafia for Juicy, Juicy J? J. Didn't he write? There's like some rapper that wrote so many songs that you have oh, no idea yes. that they did. They, they, they wrote uh, City Girls, like all the City Girls album and shit like that. There's a rapper that did. I know you're talking about. Yeah, I'm and close. Like Nas is one of them too. Nas yeah. wrote like yeah. getting jiggy with it. Uh, a bunch of other shit. So what is it? An artist that writes something that they know they can't personally do, so they just give it to I somebody else? I think the else? check is well, just so much better. You're like, is. yo, Nas can't sing, get the jiggy with it, but Will Smith can. It's the publishing you get the money off of. Mm-hmm. And, and I remember... Is uh, it better to be a writer? Yes. And not be a face? And the all-time fucking classic example of this is uh, CCR, Creedence Clearwater mm-hmm. Revival. So Fogarty got nothing because he didn't write any of the songs. So the band gets all the royalties, and he finally he was like, fuck you guys, I'm out of here. He's like, I just want to be cut in. I'm the lead singer right. of the goddamn band. And they were like, he didn't get any of the nothing. So he bounced. And then he, that's when he went solo and became Dan Fogarty. How did that do? He did all right, actually. Like, he, he had some decent hits. Huh. He was fine, but he's still bitter because even when he was on tour, he had to, he had to pay for royalties if he wanted because to sing Creedence. Because he their... Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> Fucked, right? Fucked. Uh, what isn't fucked is uh, we're in a gigantic warehouse in downtown L.A. that is literally. Thanks for glossing that up to downtown of fucking, L.A. It is. It's nice. It's a, <laughs> yeah. it's a nice area. We're like a scrapyard. Yeah, look at this place. It's, oh, it's gorgeous. How many? It's what, a diamond in the rough. Is this 15,000 square feet? Give or take, yes. Give or take. There's a guy off camera. I was just like, yeah, yeah, somewhere 15. in there. He looks like he probably can do math, but has no intention of doing the math. Not at all. No, no, Not no. At all. Also, look like you've raped quite a few people, sir. Um, <laughs> He's saying yes on yeah. camera. It's I'm fine. not saying Kirill and employs rapists, but uh, eh. I'm not saying we don't. We're not saying we don't. <laughs> I just don't discriminate. No, not at all. We if don't we're do not, if we're gonna go with non Can you imagine me doing like that's like me raising a kid, be like, don't go out. Yeah, exactly. Like, we walked in today. The standard is so low. There's 86 dildos right when we walked in, and, and about nine butt plugs. Right. And I said, Hey, man, are you are you selling these? And you're like, Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're working on it. They, and we have a German <laughs> uh, graphic designer. I mean, a CAD designer chick that's making a. She's not back there. She should be. But uh, makes all the uh, all our new. Innovative stuff. Yeah. We're in our innovation phase. OK. Because before it was kind of like, you know, you know, work with products that exist and, and kind of make them ours. Sure. And now with having like an actual human being with a, like, I guess, a degree, I hope. Mm-hmm. I hope she has one, yeah. but she does all the catting and she kind of makes these dumb ideas come to life where we're like, let's just do like a anal ring toss butt plug kit, like because no yep. one else is making that. Or let's just make this squirt gun that shoots champagne because now we can. Yeah, yeah of course. So it's, yeah, I'm, know, a, I'm essentially like Billy Mays for retards. Yeah, it, it's Billy Mays. It's like that old adage of yeah. if you do something you love. You never work a day in your life. And if you're mm-hmm. building butt plugs every day, you're doing what you love. Yeah. Well, I'm not the one assembling them. Oh, I'm you're not. Sure. Wait, I'm I don't pre- think there's assembly on butt plugs, right? Assembly? Like how? It's yeah. probably all automated. It's probably a machine. No, no, no. This is all made by, uh, like, this is sweatshop printers. labor in, like, China, uh, 
probably still, how India, would you make Bangladesh, a somewhere. By hand. How it's, do you make it by hand? It's like a. I, I would think a 3D printer. Right? Could I've make never a seen plug. that photo of like the old Mexican ladies dipping dildos, oh, hand yeah, dipping them. That, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes yeah, you hot. want. We like to have a human touch here at Assholes of Forever. Yeah. So, no machinery. Man. It's important. LA, our LA facility is powered by Mexicans. Our production in China is, you know, presumably powered by Chinese children. Yeah. So, are you anti-white um, <laughs> employees? <laughs> yes, a hundred percent. The laziest uh, people on the planet to ever. Uh, yeah. White only white diversity hires. You kidding me? Only yeah. We, we, the, we the, had a few fans. That like, because when we put out like warehouse jobs, and eventually it was like, you know, they all they fell like off. They were like, yeah, they wanted too many like breaks and rights and shit. And you're like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're like, hey, you? man, we don't do any of that. Yeah, shit what do you? Here. They're like, well, I need to speak to HR. I'm like, what? Yeah. Like, quit being a faggot and go pack some orders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then that's you know that's it. Because when we walked in, it was like La Bamba out front, but before like Richie Valens made it, like that part of it where it was like, right, yeah. Um, and there, it was there, like still, was... there, there were still cars parked out in the grass. Yes. And yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what the crazy part is? The best soundtrack in this warehouse comes from that screen printing side. They are. I don't know if they're trying to just blend in so much mm -hmm. to be like, yo, we're so part of this. Like, we're white. We're white. Yeah, it, yeah. Oh, dude, they're, it's like a. It's like every day is a musical journey where I'm like so blown away by what they're picking. Because they they're not. They're journey playing like shit. They're. Yeah, who's their Spice top, Girls who's on their yesterday. Hit? Really? They have everything. You're like, who is? And then you walk out. You're like, there's no way the, these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they're loving it. I I understand it. If if I drive through a bad neighborhood, I'll put on a rap to make it seem like, hey, I'm, oh, I'm I turn one it of down you and everything's like, all right. Oh, really? Yeah. Like I'll I'll switch the station. That's probably um, a better really? idea than jamming on like David Allen Co or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Obviously, <laughs> you'd want to avoid that in that neighborhood. Obviously, but I will say this: since the protests like um, started happening, there was a song. It was a Snoop Dogg song that, that that was playing in my car, and I had the windows down, and it was N word thirty times in a row. And a black family was walking across the street, and I had the windows down, the, and the music was blaring, and like the entire family turned toward me, and, and I, I kind of just like shrugged my shoulders of like, "Hey, man, it's right. it's Snoop Dogg, and it's rap, and it's yeah. like." And I'm sorry, I'm a consumer then, of your culture. Yeah. Then, then sink, like it, it's, it, you, it's a double edged sword. It's weird, right? Because is it appropriation or is it me consuming? Or is it uh, not? Appreciation. Because technically, like, I paid for the. Like, yeah. I bought is, Snoop is it, Dogg's album. Is it appropriation? When what do you I mean? You have a CD in your car? No. So, I, like, <laughs> you know Apple Music? No. Uh, you you don't Never like heard Apple of Music? It. Really? No, I'm kidding. Okay, cool. Of so, on Apple Music, they give you the Apple Music or your library. Uh, My library still dates back to the LimeWire days. So like, so I mean, now you just admit it to steal. So you're it. still actively transmitting virus, computer viruses <laughs> right. to other you're people. The only, yo, yes. Can you imagine? And, and but all the shit that I bought. So over the years, I bought CDs and I used to put them into the, the computer, <laughs> convert them, you convert them. The dude. Windows I Media Play. Oh, yeah. that shit was. Yo, remember that? That was the coolest part of the internet when it was the Wild West and these like people just mm -hmm. develop programs. You're like, this steals every song on the internet. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's capitalism. now you can't like That's how capitalism yeah. works. Now they're like, here's Spotify. Yeah. And they're like, cool, I'll pay nine bucks a month for this, yeah. which in the end, yeah, it's kind of worth it. I have a question. Is it appropriation if I make like Italian or Chinese food at my house? Exactly. Right? No. It's not. Like, I'm, you're, I would say Italian's fine because you're white. Maybe when you Chinese start profiting food, yeah. off it, that's where it becomes problematic. Yeah. We did it. Like Giorgio. If I open an Italian restaurant, maybe. Giorgio today, <laughs> our, our producer ordered an egg roll from no, no. Jack in the right. Box. It's owned by Pepsi. Yeah, exactly. Who is well, yeah. I, sorry. No, no, like, it's fine. I was talking about Georgia ordered a, an egg roll from Jack in the Box today, which I didn't know was a thing. Yeah, apparently, Jack in the Box has like they got every base covered. Best tacos ever. The tacos really? are really good, man. My I'm God, man. he keeps telling me, but yeah. I just, I'm still trying yeah, to be as keto as I can. Over there when you oh, really? It. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You look okay. great. Yeah. You look great. You That's got good sun. As I can. Where the fuck? Where the fuck did you get sun? Oh well, I, I now that I'm like officially a permanent LA resident, mm -hmm. and my house just got too packed in this apartment, I had to get an actual home. With a oh, pool. really? Yeah. Yeah. This is the first time in my life I've had a pool. I feel like an adult. So you're a homeowner? A, r a renter. Okay. I'm still, yeah, <laughs> calm down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're on the lamb half the time, you can't really fucking put yeah, in. I can't put down. Anywhere. You might have to anywhere. escape the city in a couple Dude, of Dude, from the last time you were on this show, you've gotten two more Instagram accounts. Instagram accounts since. Uh, yeah, I'm kind time. of a hoarder. Yeah. Yeah. What? So what happened on the last one? Did they give you, hey, yeah. man, your shit got jacked? So like, this is it? I wish they talked to us. Oh, they, they don't, don't talk to anyone. They ha I, and uh, to be fair, 
if I was Instagram, I wouldn't talk to anyone either. Like, why would you? You'd be like, yeah, whatever. I don't care. No, you open the floodgates, then you have to open up a whole other department to deal with disputes. Right. Like, they're not doing And people that. are like, oh, sue them. I'm like, for what? They have yeah. so much money. And in their contract, in the beginning, it literally states, you can't sue us mm. for anything. That's yeah, because it's still a privately owned company. We're doing public shit on there. Like, you have to abide right. by their rules, whatever they are. And that's kind of it. Are you still with the same girl? Yep. How's that going? It's the longest relationship of my life. It's crazy. Right. Are, you, are, are eh. we going to? No. Okay. No, because I don't. I don't believe in wasting money on a ring. Or at least I don't believe in not getting something back of value. Okay. So you're looking for a dowry. Yeah. yeah. Or I'm just looking for if we're going to. I don't like when it's selective equality. I don't like that. Okay. Right. Like, I don't like, oh, you got to be a man. And I'm like, okay, but then you got to be a woman. And then other times it's like, oh, well, like, you know, we're equal. And you're like, well, make up your mind. This sounds like you're talking about strap ons and pegging or something. It's not. I'm, yeah, literally, talking not about, I'm sure? literally saying, like, I would propose to my girlfriend, probably, but I'm just not going to hand you $20,000. First, and gain nothing. So what do you want in return then? What, what do we go to her? I don't know. With because nothing Cause changes. Jan and I if I marry her today, yeah, we do this. For nothing living, so. changes in my life at all, mm -hmm. except I'm out twenty grand, and I have to look at it on your hand and be like, "Well, I got nothing." Like, why don't? Why does the guy not need to win in this either? Hmm, now, now, yeah. uh, what's your last name? Bichutsky. What kind of name is that? Russian, Jew. There we go. <laughs> I didn't say any of those words. No, okay. you didn't. That was all, that <laughs> that was was all him, you. It was all him saying. It was all words. you. That's a that's a bleak outlook on life, but I get it. Yeah. What? I mean, it's you. If it's your very. Wife, if, so if your wife later in life goes, "Hey, can I get twenty grand uh, if you love me?" Will you gonna be like, "But you out of your mind?" No, and and I'll tell you this. Like my wife was cool about it. She was like, "Hey, bro, I would rather have a car." So she cool. was like, we well, are a fucking it. dope ass she was honeymoon like, that you travel to. I want to, like yeah, yeah, she goes, I want a cheaper ring because I want a fucking car and something, you know, some, something else. And I was like, all right, cool, man. That makes sense. Because yeah, I could borrow my your ring car is, once in a while. My ring is like $20. Uh, same thing. I was like, I would get a tattoo. You ring. guys are talking about different things, though, because he just said it's because I can borrow her car sometimes. So he still gets some fucking usage out of the product at some point. Yeah, well, I borrow the car, too. So, yeah, I, so, I that's the, so, so it's a practical gift. Yeah. If yeah. we're just getting a $20,000 ring to be just because you want to have yeah. a nice, pretty thing to look at, it's yes. like, yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's not a, how this works. No, that's just a flex. It yeah, is. That's all it is. What yeah. is an engagement ring besides a flex? It's What's the point? Oh, it's like a promise to marry it's you? It's a down payment on a fucking house. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's too much. <laughs> yeah. That's too much for me. Any of my friends who get married out of the country, too, never went to one of them. I'm no. Just, I'm, no, I'm not paying that. No, I don't do Sorry. Uh, I love you, but destination no. weddings at all. No. And if I do, if you fucking finally guilt me into one, it's going to be bad news for you and your family. <laughs> like some weird shit's gonna. I go like down destination here. weddings. You don't like them? I love. Well, them. here's the thing. I just don't want to be fucking forced to go to them. Yeah. I would rather go you on a vacation with my wife and kids rather than go to. Right, you have else's kids, wedding. so like I just went to a destination wedding, but it was fun because it was my best friends, and we went for a week before to like hang out. Oh, that's and dope. Then, Where and was that? Uh, Bahamas. Okay. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, Bahamas is a blast, man. It was awesome, but yeah, I I prefer that way over like, hey, we got a wedding in Long Island. You're like, awesome. Yeah, yeah. I bet you've been in a lot of those goddamn things. I try to not go. I have gigs. <laughs> I'm always like, I'm working. I'll mm. send money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I try not to. If I had a wedding, it would be a party. I don't like any. Well, I'm not religious, nor do I know anything. Nothing. So nothing, nothing. at all religious at all. Nothing. So you still like Mel Gibson? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Hey, I'm, I'm I checking. don't know him. That's well, the thing. Do you think like, he was upset at the Passion of the Christ or something? No, I'm just talking about uh, his God, comments. Something that happened in the back of a car. Mel Gibson. Bingo. <laughs> what happened? Oh, there? he's uh, uh, racist. Right, that's yeah. it. super oh. racist. But yeah. Oh. Well, I mean, look. Yeah. yeah. But come on. <laughs> just Mel racists Gibson. can make good shit. Yes. Yeah. Right. I agree. Like I still listen to Ice Cube, and even though he hates people. Like, you know, he hates yeah. all white people. Yeah, yeah. you got to separate it. Yeah, you, you have always. To. But under no circumstances would I have watched Nick Cannon at any point anyway, so it's irrelevant. In that I've case. definitely seen Nick Cannon in things. I don't yeah. seek him out. No, no, you shouldn't. You never. No. To me, Nick Cannon peaked at Drumline, and then once after that movie, it was all over for him. Yeah, he had Wild and Out money, though, right? That's got to make. Mm -hmm. He did, but here's the thing. If he, he doesn't, doesn't own it, if he doesn't impregnate Mariah Carey, right? 
does he have anything? Because she has a gajillion dollars. Right. And Mariah Carey kind of put him back on the map. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know he was like switching out her birth control with fucking like Perkins. I mean, or she didn't pull out uh, of Mariah Carey. I mean, who how would? could you? Or was would there it? ever? Oh, yeah, my. that's a great point. So, is, was there anybody you fucked in all the, on like your craziest shit that you were like, oh my god, this this girl's so rich, I'm not pulling out. This would change my life. Um. It, no, but <laughs> but I did. Um, when I first started partying in New York, and I was kind of known for being like a photographer in like the newly minted. Uh, like bottle service scene because it was kind of re- before it was just like everything is GA and then bottle service kind of came around a lot more money started yeah. traveling through nightlife sure. rich people coming out a little more celebrities and I got like roped into this little circle of like guys and girls and the girls were all like trust fund babies yeah but and all worked at like you know some magazine some girls magazine and they were all just bloggers and blah 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 it was like a like, four-hour day job. you're like you're like yeah. i get it they hired you because of your last name yeah you know like uh and they introduced me to this girl and i was like oh my god i'm gonna try to have sex with her and we were gonna mm. and we were but i was like i need to put on a good show because i want to definitely make this a regular thing sure and so i went to the deli because i'm not a pills guy and I'm I'm always like I have friends who are like yo I popped a little blue pill I popped a little Viagra yeah, I'm yeah. like eh, if it doesn't work it doesn't work for me so I've never had those kind of plugs and at that point I wish I did because I went to this fucking shitty deli on 21st Street Manhattan and I bought those like oh like oh, rhino the, fucking rhino horn tiger oh, pills yeah, yeah. And I yeah. Was blue like, rhinos I was those like, things are bad like, news man you gotta be careful with that all night. And that, that those things gotten, were like, made on the floor of a little in, Indian and then just was like, Bleh. and uh, I don't remember if we ever hung out ever again, but it was uh, Peter Frampton's daughter. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah. Nice. That's a great one. Yeah. Uh, I, you yeah. don't pull out you of Frampton. The fucked up part about the whole thing is, is like she tried to downplay it that who she was because we're in bed uh-huh. the next morning because I stayed over because I was crying and vomiting all night and she yeah, felt yeah. bad for me, I guess. And she's got a guitar pick necklace. And I'm like, I don't tell her that I know who her dad is. And sure. she's not. We've mm. never discussed any of this. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, my dad's a really good guitar player. I'm like, bitch, your dad's a Grammy award winning guitar player. It's like, Frampton, yeah, man. It's like, that's like, my dad's a pretty good mechanic. Yeah. Like, he doesn't <laughs> fucking own all of Meineke. Is yeah. that even still a thing? It's the worst reference I don't ever. Know. I don't but know. Like, this fucking, I can't believe that you a pretty good guitar player. Like your entire apartment in New York is funded by the fact yeah. that he's one of the best guitar players. Yeah. I mean, even that do you do you feel like I do the that eighteen minute live version, dude? Uh, bam, bam, bam. I just wanted to say I was like I this I saw my whole life. Yeah. Unfold. I was gonna be Frampton. I would change my last name for that. Yeah, you'd have to, I think. Kirill Frampton. No, that'd yeah. be weird. They'd think I'm like a son or something. <laughs> well, I mean you... probably the closest no, the big, the closest celebrity I probably could have, and this is me exaggerating a little bit, is Hayden Panettiere. Okay. But she was shit faced, and I was shit faced. She's tiny too. And it was at a boat party, in during I never know how to pronounce this. Con can 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 yeah. Gold Bar was this club in New York that threw awesome parties, and we would travel around and do these parties as the brand, and we did a boat party, and she was there. And I walked in on her in the bathroom because mm-hmm. there was like a it was just some boat. Yeah, yeah. And she was like, "Ooh, like you came in a little too late. And I'm like, I didn't know who she was. OK. I was taking photos, shooting the rest of the party. And she'd come over, like pose like sloppily. And then she'd come back five minutes later and be like, my publicist is going to see all of these. And I'm like bitch who are you like you don't have a publicist like yeah, yeah. i thought she was just some like tiny blonde girl the whole time <laughs> so i was shit talking her and at the end of the night my friend's like yo you know that's hayden panettiere and then i pulled up all the photos the next day i'm like oh shit that is her no it was shit. just so belligerent i was like i could have closed with this girl yeah only because i didn't know who she was Isn't the minute she, i knew who she was i fall apart instantly. doesn't she date like vladimir klitschko or some shit they were married she's just in the news yeah, she's always in the news so she always god I, and this sounds terrible to say and please for everybody who out there listening, don't think that I'm into this. There is girls that are always getting the shit kicked out of them. And you're like, 
why? Like, one, oh, was Klitschko like fucking her up or something? Can we name a few girls that you think might be like that? I'll, 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 I'll tell you. Uh, so we'll start with Hayden Panettiere. Can I throw There's one? been like three Love domestic a people. Place. Yes. You, no, we'll go in a, in a circle here. Just until you run out of names? Yeah, go ahead. Tara Reid. Okay, next. Uh, I don't know. How, who, why would I know on, that? Dude. I, I don't I, That Tara Reid's the first one I thought of, but then like who? Halle Berry? Like, nah. No. She looks like she could kick ass. The first guy beat her. So she lost her fucking hearing in one ear. Yeah. David Justice yeah, but beat her ha- after but that. But she doesn't look like it. What's that? She doesn't look like it. She looks like she could. None of these people look like it. Same with Hay- Hayden Panettiere. It doesn't look like she. No, would... Tara Reid looks like she's in yeah. a lot of abusive relationships. Yeah. Like that's that whole crackdown look. Brittany Murphy always looked sick. <sighs> well, Brittany Rest Murphy was yeah, RIP. Did you just knock on for Brittany w- Murphy? Yeah, I think so. I don't Come know what on. that hey, means. Hey, 8 Miles, son. Um, what whatever. the fuck's wrong with you? He was going to be your white rapper one day. 8 yeah. Miles like the fucking Bible. 8 Mile was my fucking guiding light my entire <laughs> life. Who? 8 Mile, man. <laughs> the fuck? I always thought that took balls to make a movie about your life in the middle of your In, your, in the middle of your life. Like, like when Private Parts was like made, which I'm thankful for because mm-hmm. it's Great an movie. amazing movie and Great I'm movie. glad he got to be in it, right? Yeah. yeah. I much rather prefer to see an Elton John movie with Elton John as Elton John. Oh, can you imagine I that? I actually dug Rocket Man. I was I was a fan of the movie. Did you watch it? I also no, but yeah. I'm assuming it's It was really good actually. I, I'm I, I know that sounds shocking for me to say. But I I actually love that movie. But he picked the dude. The dude okay. sang all his own shit on his own and yeah. Uh I but, love Elton uh, John. The, the one was weird was fifty Cent when he made his biopic. Same thing about his life. Yeah, but that's not like and no one's heard about it. It bombed. Right. I've, I've never bombed. heard. Yeah. Eight Mile was great. But uh Hayden Panettiere yeah, that would have been a long life for you. I'm glad you didn't do that. Yeah, but it would have been a quick ascension in my career. Much quicker. Yeah, yeah, of course. And I would have, I've told every girlfriend, like, hey, if something comes along that could benefit us, mm-hmm. like, you're just going to have to, like, mm-hmm. grab a knee and let me date Miley Cyrus or whoever. Because, <laughs> like, I'll come back on the other side of this and we're going to be fine. Yeah. But just understand this is work. You got to go. have to yeah. yeah. Do you how much graphic detail do you go into about the relationship with let's say Miley Cyrus? Like to do you her? explain to your current no. girlfriend I'm going to have to tongue her butthole, we're going to fucking do this or that or whatever. I mean, I would give her a menu and then strike uh, what some What I would off. do to Miley? Yeah, but like let her strike some off. Like you can strike See, three but the things off is of this. My list. relationship with Miley would be strictly beneficial to myself again. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm using Miley to become more famous. Right. Like, I don't yep. need to tongue her butthole unless Miley wants her butthole tongue. I bet you she I does. I don't want to tongue Miley. Oh, yeah. Butthole. Miley Cyrus definitely wants her ass. She eaten. fucking uh, parties. She has a dirty butthole probably. She parties. No. She's yeah, clean. that's why. You, th- you don't think she has like a tan butthole? butthole? No, like she has a, a publicist nope. that travels with her that cleans that butthole. Yeah. Before you get you think so? Yeah, pinker. probably. Yeah, it's a little pinker. Would you they call them pinkers, yeah. 100%. I mean, I'm married, obviously, but like pre-marriage, Yes. One, and there was a party that I was at that she was. If you she was fuck there, Miley, coolest part, coolest person of the party, and raged, outraged everybody till like five a.m. and like, you'd be lucky to marry Miley Cyrus. I know that Look, we up. can all agree that Miley Cyrus would benefit every single person in this room. Yeah. Well, would I mean, I would get closer to Billy Ray. For Miley Cyrus, if Miley's like, I want to go public with you. It depends on what the contract was. There's it doesn't no, even matter. As long yeah, as I'm pictured with you, there's my no contract. Fault, everything is just. Whoop. How much time do you get with Billy Ray? Because <laughs> that's going to affect my fucking decision. Do you think they talk a lot? Uh, yeah, but, yeah, I, think, like, I yeah, bet they, they, they talk they, every they, single day. They look like family friendly people. I bet yeah. he's probably the only reason she never went Amanda Bynes, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. I would yeah, guess. One. Because, By like, the way, she, it was real rough with her and fucking uh, Liam Hensworth and shit for a while. But, like, it seems like the only thing, like, she managed to stay ab- keep her head above water, unlike Brittany and Amanda Bynes and a lot of these other women. So, I never I saw Amanda you know Bynes so going much. that way. About this, That's, and this I almost is just, just wanted to hold your hand. This is we can do very that. emotional. You can touch it. Yeah, you I got go. sweaty. I got him scared. Fine. I made him sweaty. The Amanda Bynes thing, I never saw going that way. You, I met her. A couple I saw times. her party. She was in New all York business. She's a mess. Oh really? Oh yeah. The two times I saw her, she was all business, and it was like at dinners and shit, and she was just over because everybody else was partying. And she yeah. wasn't drinking or doing anything, and I was like, all right, well, fuck it. I think I you could tell her like a lot six, about seven years ago. Yeah. What was she looking like? Yeesh. She got a I made it to Us Weekly with her. Yeah. Me and my boy Justin and Amanda Bynes and her girlfriend went drinking around Manhattan and somehow it got like, they, they were like, oh, blurb was like, Amanda Bynes called frolicking around New York with cruel. Did you fuck like, Amanda Bynes? I wish. I tried to. I was literally <laughs> actively trying to cheat on my girlfriend. Like, I was like, I can explain this one. Yeah. This yeah. is, this is, this is one for the, this is business. Yeah. <laughs> 
Because she's still got that Nickelodeon money. It doesn't matter if she's got the money. She's still got enough yeah. press worthiness to her name. Yeah, I'm surprised, though. You've, you've hung out with so many fucking people over the years that you have not been able to not pull out of a celebrity. That doesn't make any sense. What do you mean? Not fuck a celebrity? Fuck a celebrity and not pull out. Oh, nobody wants to fuck me. My job all the time partying was to be your gay best friend so I can get the best photos, right? So, like, if there was, like, 12 hot girls at a party, my job wasn't to show up like the creepy dude trying to bang him. My job was to be the 13th girl in the party who showed up with the camera. Is to then, then they get half naked, then they pour champagne mm. in each other, My and then my job's done and the content goes online. If I'm strictly thinking with my dick at work, which I've done, <clears throat> worst job I'll ever do. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because, like, you're just not paying attention, and it's a completely different lane between trying to fuck a girl or just trying to, like, you know, make everyone feel comfortable enough that they're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, because we all see your life online, and I guess we have for years at this point. We just assume, like, I, I just assume you've pu- fucked, like, Paris Hilton or Amanda Bynes or people like that. Like, I assume it. Eddie Murphy, probably. <laughs> Eddie Murphy, right. yeah. No, no, Or at no, least no. Charlie, shit. Yeah, R.I.P. R.I.P. again. R.I.P., obviously. Yep. <laughs> Got to... Got to give it that knock, dude. The knock, the old. Uh, <laughs> Charlie I can see you blowing Forrest Whitaker. At this point, I would probably. You think blow the eye is distracting? If you're trying to make eye contact when oh, you're I sucking his dick, I have a lazy eye. I could really. You got a lazy eye too. Yeah. What if you're lazy? I can control it. Let's see it. Oh shit! That's creepy. Look in which camera should he look into, Georgia? That one. There we go. Yeah. What if? Uh, what if you and Forrest I could just Whitaker? talk to you the whole time. Oh, like this. oh God, it's horrifying. I can't look at that. No, what if this you, is me. This is what Forrest Whitaker blowing what if, you looks like. What, what if you and Forrest <laughs> Whitaker, you're blowing him, or he's blowing you either way, or you're blowing each other, and you lock eyes, but your lazy eye locks okay. as well? Opposite. I, I, so like your lazy eye like also locks. Somebody? Yeah. yeah, it would be yeah. Forrest Whitaker. So that way that I'm, he's not looking directly at me. I want, I want at least one eye looking away where it's like, all right, cool. One eye I can fucking concentrate. Two yeah, eyes. If I'm blowing you, mm-hmm. one eye has to be lazy because it's at least like, okay, it's not fully gay, right? Right. Like I'm, 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 I'm a little like out to lunch. Yeah. A little I'm not eye contact with just your gut. Yeah. That would mean I really want it. <laughs> what about black girls? You ever get down on black girls? Did you ever go through a phase? I have no. Dude, do you have flashbacks where you're like, oh my god, I can't believe I fucked that girl. Yeah. Or I can't believe that girl had sex with me. Mm-hmm. Or, yeah, you know, that guy, whatever. Everybody does. Right. So I can't, I definitely have, but my performances are lackluster and always, so it's not like I'm going to remember anything amazing. What, what is so lackluster about them? And just imagine me blackout, soaking wet, belligerent, <laughs> end of the night, mm. trying to have sex with you. Yeah, no, no, like, no, that picture's really seeped in. <laughs> right. By the way, well, I just I just cock gaze you. Yeah, just there's nothing you. to look at. It's camo. Zero. Just no legs. Zero. Oh, John, yeah. might like well John, not be there. It's like John Cena <laughs> down here. <laughs> they call my like John camo. Cena. Might as well not be there. <laughs> you can't see me. That's a good rap lyric I should write. It is. We should write my rap song. Before you... we came on air, yeah, he sing was us that one about rap lyric. Being a white rapper for a minute, and you had one of the most like three bars that were amazing. Can yeah. You so let me okay, let me so... get into it first though, because he he wanted to be a white rapper that rapped primarily about fucking people with disabilities or some no, no, shit no. or that was I, just the one song i um went through several uh identity crises as a as a as a young adult and i think a part of me one time wanted to be like every white kid's like oh it'd be awesome to be able to rap yeah and then i was like oh but i'm just gonna rap what i know which is silly absurd shit i can't rap about drugs or gangs so yeah i obviously. grew up on a cul-de-sac yeah, you know, yeah. from new jersey there's no <laughs> nothing street about me so i was just like oh let's just write a rap song and the subject was about uh disfigured or just for lack of a t- better term not regular women yeah right so uh differently the, the line i women. had was and the only line i wrote mm-hmm. and it was my mic drop line is i titty fucked the chick with a mastectomy who said to me come where my other titty used to be and that's see it. that's like my little that's I could it. probably have taken that to what is that? Deaf Poetry Jam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah if you Can we get one clap, Zach? Can we clap for that back there? That's that's about That was amazing. It. I've yeah. got one fan already. Yeah. I would have bought that. What was the name of the that song going to be? One Titty with two Ds? I don't know if I wanted to go that on the nose. <laughs> Are we going to go something <laughs> more just, philosophic? Just, just 
Oh my God! Valleys wait, and cannons. Wait, do we have this thing? The the the, uh, the Coke mirrors are they over there? I have to. Read are you them selling this thing. Coke mirrors now? No, no, no. I have to read this this note. Hold on, hold on. Can, yeah, yeah. I just, just go, give me two yeah, seconds. You can. Go ahead. You can. We're, we were. So, by the way, if you if you're now tuning in, we've got uh, some sponsors who put this whole shit wagon on the air. Um, since Kirill is getting his Coke mirrors, we're going to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking pros, where if you were a member of the military, a first responder, a teacher, or in the government, you get 30% off of everything. If you're a regular dumb, dumb civilian like myself, you get 25% off. If you get a mattress, you get two free pillows right now. And as always at ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros, you get all of it for 36 months interest free if you decide to go that route it's like 30 bucks a month so you can rock the shit on that and still be fucking good at life um go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today what do you got there what do you got there Kirill? george you can come in just walk in a frame there you go boom all right so there's this uh why did you say coke mirror by the way so i'm gonna just tell you so there's this artist uh-huh I think this work is honestly from like the 40s, 50s. Okay. This is a work of art. I don't have it. You can probably look it up. When you look at it, all he did was paint a black canvas and then put Coke lines on it. Oh, no shit. White, was right? it real Coke? No. Okay. It's just a painting. <clears throat> like, like I'm the crazy one now. No, no, no. Like, but just listen. Like I went to art school, sure. so I can understand where this comes from. And this is what repulses me about art. Uh, I'm going to show you the photo after. Imagine just a black square. Sure. And just white dots in the form of like three lines. Okay. That's Huge all black your, canvas. That's all you're looking three at. Three white you're lines You're sure it's not an Adidas symbol? No. Okay. Right. This we're, co- we're covering all the bases. <laughs> the, ni- the song is called, I mean, uh, the painting's called The Night You Left. <laughs> okay. And this is about Johnny Depp. <laughs> <laughs> and Amber Heard. <laughs> There is a certain magic in loneliness. You have to be alone to create. It's not about drugs or glamour. It's about the inside world where you can dream and love and seek a greater truth. It's about a feeling of being connected to something so human. Let me show you this fucking thing. (laughs) By the way, just that description, no matter how good the art was, it's just some very privileged and fortunate person trying to fucking... like make some reason why they feel. Yeah, that it way. was basically. Yeah. So this is what it looks like. So basically, <laughs> it's the first rule of like art school is where you just kind of go, oh wow, I can just lie about everything and make myself sound more deep. Yeah. And usually, those are the people that don't know how to draw. Sure. Um, <clears throat> let me just say. So Did this, this sell? Is, Did this art piece sell at all? I don't know. Because if not, I want to buy it I now. I want to show then, it to you. Yeah, you know. it's that and the fucking Top Gun Maverick helmet. So this is onesie, all it on my is. List. Oof. Like, that's what it looks like. Okay. This is just a close-up of the artwork. That's it. Minus his name on it. Yeah, it makes sense. Like, all that I read to you, and then that's the artwork. Yeah. Just, just Coke lines. Four lines of cocaine. And so, for, for me, you just summed up art and why I can never, ever take it seriously. 100 percent ever i went to when i went to art school um we had like painting and drawing class and i had to do a painting and i never did it i just, I, don't, I didn't do homework i did this painting five minutes before class in my car like mm-hmm. in the parking lot with like blue paint the only thing i had in there you bring it in you hang it up and obviously like art students there's no real critique right. everyone's just like Hi, everyone, discuss the art. And they look at mine, they're like, someone's like, I really like your tones, that you chose blues to express maybe a deeper darkness or sadness. And you're just sitting there like... Just make shit up. Dude, I just did this in my car (laughs) because I had no other colors. Descriptions of art are basically horoscopes. Yeah. It's fucking nonsense. Yeah. Perfect. It's fucking nonsense. It's such Every single time. So to me, I like those fucking whale paintings as a kid by Wyland. Remember? Uh, He was big for a while. He was doing all mm. those murals, yeah. mm-hmm. like dolphins and whales and shit like Some that. Some stuff like that is dope. And like they're like they're truly great paintings. You don't need a fucking explanation. Right. No. American Gothic, for example. Every single person knows what it is. And every single person doesn't have to fucking. Re- what, what does it mean? They all fucking know exactly you know why? what it's saying. Because real art 
shouldn't be explained. Exactly. If you have if to you, explain it, it's not art. It's like yeah. explaining a joke. Yes. Yeah. Right? It's done. You've killed it. If you have to explain your Coke mirror to sound more than like, mm-hmm. oh, my God, I have yeah, nothing yeah. to paint. I'm high on Coke. Oh, my God. Let's paint that. Yeah. To me, I would I, like if I'm. Sh- I buy a painting that was like if he was like, oh, I did a bunch of blow and that's what I wanted to paint. Yeah. I respect you more. Yeah. Yeah. yeah if you told a story about like this is the night my fucking girlfriend left me. And this is the last thing I saw before I went to sleep that day or that morning or whatever the fuck. I would cool. buy that painting. Yeah. yeah. That, there's meaning behind it. This I don't is want nonsense. I don't want a dude who talks like that. No. <laughs> to make any money yeah. or to hang on my wall. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm shopping for shit on my walls, though, I prefer photographs of like real shit. Look, where at, I'm like, All right, cool. Look at this photograph. That's called a callback joke. Wait, so question. <laughs> yeah. Does it have to be eight seconds in a row or eight seconds total of song? In a row. Uh, oh. In a row. Yeah, so you can just what's keep a, that What's up. the gap? Can I just go, okay, like, can I little John this? I think there's like, something can you in sing the, the whole song, says if you're in, but every eight seconds I go, okay. There's, there's it's, something in a, that, and it's, it's in a certain amount of time, so it's in like an hour. Yeah. So that way you... you so this is hour two. Well, or hour one, so now it's two. almost like... No, 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 because I haven't used the full eight seconds yet. No. So I'm, I'm probably at three, three and a half. Yeah. Right what's, what I probably have two more of those in me. I'm going to burn one now. Look at this photograph. And I hope everyone who's listening uh, to the, this in their what, car can, right what, now. Now, does it have to be, uh, what if I start singing? Uh, Is it eight seconds for me or eight seconds total? Medium, yeah, though, it's so. under our medium. So uh, if you want to use the last one, go ahead. You want, go ahead go Every time it. I do, it makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst line. That's almost as bad as, uh, what's Young Jeezy's line? What's it? Standing at the podium trying to watch my sodium. I'm like, I could rap. Yeah. Literally, yeah. I could rap. We I like also this. don't like when black guys rap the word penis. Lil Baby does it in his last song, and he's just like, blah, 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 my penis. And you're like, no. Like, I don't, <laughs> like, I, honestly, of all the things, like, I'll say the N word when I'm rapping along, but I won't say the P word. <laughs> right? Like, I ain't rapping penis. That's a when weird. I'm, when I'm, that's when a I'm weird, listening to, to hip hop, that's a weird penis hill. Penis is a weird one to pick. It's a weird hill to die on, though, don't you think? Penis? Yeah. It's just a weird word for, uh, like, the embodiment of masculinity. How do you refer to your dick when you go to the doctor? Yeah, what do you call it? When I go to my. I don't when go, you go to the, to the doctor. doctor. Let's say you're going I told to. I you I don't go to the doctor. Let's say you did no. go to the doctor. If I did, my dick. I would talk to them as I normally would. I would never refer to a, this you as don't my have penis. a full scale name for it, though? No, you need a full scale penis to name. I got it. it makes how sense. much? How I much? don't like to get a tat. You know, yeah, it's not I call really. mine the continental breakfast. Really? Yeah, it's two eggs and, and sausage. Oh. I call mine the thickness. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, mine's known as like the Ethiopian lunch. <laughs> <laughs> just, you know. It's just a small just, carrot. Just, just you <laughs> know, like it's like carrot. government mandated <laughs> amount of <laughs> nutrients. Yeah. It's like government. <laughs> yeah. That's it. I can get the job done. Uh, biologically does your girlfriend say shit to you like like after sex? You're fucking yeah is she like hey bro is, are we gonna i mean if she said hey bro yeah are we gonna <laughs> that would have been bad <laughs> uh but like i don't know i guess she probably lies to me i would assume the my ego won't allow me to think that they lie they all have to lie there's no i, I know myself very well there's no way i've ever put on a great performance <laughs> <laughs> not once no. You know we have a boner pill sponsor on this show, right? Yeah. Does it work? Yeah, it's the best. Honestly. GetRoman.com forward slash drinking Wait, wait. Bros. Do I need a uh, prescription for it or no? Yeah, but you just go you online. Just go online. You don't online. have to go into a doctor. So Roman has overtaken Viagra. This is real life, by the I way. I want to try one. They've overtaken Viagra because you can just get it online. It's like five questions. And that's it. You fill it out. Like what? Does your dick work? Dude, no. they send it to you 48 hours later. That's Stop. it. Stop. Dead serious. Mm. Same as... Have you taken Viagra? No. I've told you. I, I've never... I'm scared... Uh, of all pills, mainly because my mom worked in pharmaceuticals her whole mm. life, so mm. she's like horror stories about yeah, everything in there. This one's fine. Like, it, like this is a great. I, we call it a party boner here around here. Um, so for the weekends, yeah, you just tune it up a little bit. There's my a, fear yeah. is that I might die. No, 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 you're good. From like a heart attack. Well, if you're on, and coke, then I, I I've I never cared coke. about another girl's orgasm for 36 years. I'm not about to die for one. Got it. You know what I mean? That like, makes sense. That's it. Yeah. Like I'm not, but maybe it's safe. You think? Could I do half or a whole? Well, they come in different milligrams. How quick they does come it in work? Different milligrams, yeah. uh, I would say give it a couple of hours, probably. No. A couple of hours. I, it depends on which minutes. one it is. You guys never took one at the top of a show and there's been like the best product placement and will stand up at the end so and are like, here's the deal. Get Roman. Before we had it, because we had two strangers who had never met before fuck live on air. Um, and that was episode 100 for us. 
Um, and I assumed Homeboy had some in his. Wait, in front of you guys? Yes, on, on the bed. We had, we had a. Airbnb Were they hot in at least? What's that? <laughs> yes. The girl. Is he hot? The girl. I, I've I've seen pictures. I I wasn't there for this. Oh, one. you weren't the there. The girl was hot. The dude, uh, from what I'm understand, was yeah, pretty the dude good looked like too. he steps off of the cover of like Men's Fitness. Yeah. But he brought in a shake. He was ready. He pulled it out. Had a fucking hog on him. But I assumed in that shake, because here's the thing, it went about two and a half hours. And what went to yes, and there was hours. there was there was five of us Sex. around the bed. Yeah, he came four times. What right? did you guys came talk four about? Times. Did you interview him the whole time? Yeah, so I'm on the bed over them as and they're then, fucking for two and a half hours. Yes, and so, well, they're, we're all around the bed like UFC. So there's four of us in chairs what? around this bed, and uh, so here's the deal: he kept taking sips of smoothies in between cum shots, right? So I was like, God damn it, man! I bet you there's something in that smoothie, but I don't want to. What's his recycle? What was his recycle rate? What do you mean? Um, How long did it to get hard again? Oh, real quick. That's why I was. That's, that's what, I was what makes them pros. Yes. Yeah. One of the best in the business. I'm always mid blowjob. I'm like, keep sucking after I come. And then I come like, get off, whore. Yeah. I'm like, I gotta go to bed. <laughs> like I'm always like, before I come, I'm in my head. I'm like the best at sex, right? Right. You're like, oh yeah. You're like, yeah. You like that? Uh huh. And then they're like, uh, and they're like, mm, okay. And then you well. and then you call her a whore after. Yeah. I'm like <laughs> whore. You're just so hot. Dan's uh, Dan's got a sh- he makes uh, girls call him shrimp boat captain. Yeah, you gotta yeah. keep them separated. <laughs> 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 I fucking love the league so much. I can't get that shit out of my head. I never watched the league, but I watched the uh, the the Steve Renazzi breakdown uh, on Opie and, and well, not Anthony Opie and Wait, Pete is there Davidson. A worse story than that? I was trying to think of that as soon as you said the league the other day. The league. That's why I never watched Dan. Uh, where he lied about being at the fucking towers in 9-11? Yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> that's, so, I mean, that's a been, weird flex, and like somebody's going to find out, bitch. What? Yeah, that's yeah. too like Google. Yeah, you yeah. can't do that. That's a weird one. It's, it's, Dan calls it uh, oppression FOMO. Yeah. Where you're, you have this fear of missing out on like tragic events and things yeah. like that. I mean, that's all of Instagram. It's, right? all, it's, all, it's all life the, is now. That's all. all life. It's the like that, I, you remember slacktivism, that, essentially. Yeah, slacktivism. Yeah, it's slacktivism. Remember that stupid girl? Was it here in LA where she like. Went up next to where they were pa- repainting a building or something and took a selfie and then handed the paintbrush back to the guy and got back. Oh, right, right, right. She, she was like a reporter or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's people just want to like. <laughs> it's clout, man. Yeah. That's it. But I, I just wonder when he was telling that story, if any at any point, like he was like, oh, man, I shouldn't have said I was in 9-11. Fuck. You know, the crazy part is, though, he wasn't known for being a comedian that survived 9-11. So like after he said yeah, it, he was once, already famous by then. But even, yeah. Even if you said it once, just don't bring it up ever again. Ever but again. he like apparently constantly talked about it. You're like, bro, like I understand it's slipping out and you can kind of like, yeah. hopefully pr- ignore that interview and hopefully never resurfaces. Sure. But like. They didn't brand him as the 9-11 boy after the first interview. No. So that means he kind of had to keep talking and talking and talking about it. Did you ever tell like a horrific lie to someone and just keep that going? No. I can't. Well, I kept one going through an entire date that I was oh, okay. that I was Sugar Ray. That you were, what was your? What was your... I was Sugar Ray, the, the singer. You were Sugar Ray? I was Sugar Ray. I looked a lot like him when I was younger. And um, Why do you say Sugar and Ray so quickly in succession? Like yeah, Sugar I heard Ray. Sugar Ray. Sugar Ray. Sugar Ray. Yeah, Mark Sugar McGrath. Ray. Yeah, Mark Sugar McGrath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ray. Okay. It's two fucking words, So Ross. here's what happened. I was in this movie. It was a big movie. But nobody, didn't, like, I was that guy. Nobody was like, oh, I know your name, right? And so there was a bunch of people around. And there was this girl. And she was just like, I fucking know. She was like, you're the dude. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm the, I'm the, and she was like, you're Sugar Ray. And I was like, oh, okay, that one today? Yeah. 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 So I was like, this girl like, was ah, smoking hot. And I was like, yeah, I'm fucking Sugar Ray. So we went out to dinner, drinks, things. And like, the beauty of it was, was like, random people did come up to me throughout the night and they didn't know my name. They would just be like, you're that dude from that that thing, right? And I was like, yeah, Sugar Ray, dude. You know, like at the end, you were like, Sugar Ray. I you, just went along with it. Did you through, try to work any of the lyrics from his songs into the conversation? No, no, nothing. Like Babe, nothing. Wanna and it was before yeah, camera I phones. Fly, man. It was before camera phones. So like, that's the best time to lie about being yes. famous. So it was like, all right, great. So instead of like, oh, you're the dude from movie, it was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. fucking Sugar Ray. And I went along with that for an entire evening. No, you can't do that now. No, now they'd yeah, be I like, can't. Sugar Ray was just. On his story, a- exactly. Reason. It says here Sugar Ray died of AIDS six years <laughs> yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he uh, did. He, he you he heard did. it here first, folks. No, you should do no, Sugar in your next alive. movie. You should do something involving Sugar Ray. Oh, man, I would love to. He was no, in but Sharknado like you, as Sugar Ray. Yeah, I would love to. He was in Sharknado. 
So he's still why Sugar Ray's still out there in the let's streets. Make a, let's make a f- You have like a, a Sugar Ray or Val Kilmer ish kind of vibe right now. Why don't we make a fake Sugar I'll, Ray? I'll, t- I'll take either. Why don't we make a yeah. fake Sugar Ray biopic and just fucking Sugar Ray versus Val just Kilmer? Roast and the it's fuck your out version of, of Face Off. You do all the Switch acting. the faces. It's your nutty of professor. Sugar. You're every person. <laughs> <laughs> you're it's Sugar your Ray professor. versus Sugar Ray versus Val Kilmer. The fight for relevancy. Oh God, I think I think it's Val Kilmer is way more relevant. Everybody's fight. No, but who's more famous now? Val Kilmer or Sugar well, Ray? Sugar Ray's on serious. Here's the problem. He does the 90s. Yeah, 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 yeah. But here's the problem. Val Kilmer's got cancer, and like, I feel bad. He, he will be in Top Gun. That's not at Christmas, though. Um, so he's coming back as He's Iceman. lived a pretty full life. Of all the people that have had cancer. Dude. Yeah. Does he play a cancer patient in the new Top Gun? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I think he's the one who gets... <laughs> Spun up in the jet wash. <laughs> this is terrible, man. We're all we're all going to hell, everyone. You might as well do it at Kirill's place. Uh, yeah, look, I mean, he was a terrible life Batman. Is, life is really sad. I liked him as I Batman. Like making fun of that. I'm a huge Val Kilmer fan. Let me that go was th- a very star-studded cast. Let me go through his hits, please. Real sure. genius is the best. Real genius. Probably um, by far. I will heat one of those two. Fucking Top Gun. Mm. Tombstone. Top Gun's stupid to Tombstone. me. Tombstone. Doc uh, Holiday, dude. Yeah, that's probably that's probably the best. I, don't I really guess. know no Val Kilmer movies. The Doors. He was Jim Morrison. Mm. That he should have won the fucking Oscar. He should have, but I can't deal with Jim Morrison. Dennis Leary put it best. I'm drunk. I'm nobody. I'm drunk. I'm famous. I'm drunk. I'm fucking dead. That's his career. I and understand. I don't care about any of it. The music sucked, and he. Sucked. But he. Whenever I think of Jim Morrison, I think of Val Kilmer. I don't actually think of Jim Morrison. That's how good he was. It was Oliver Stone. The movie was fucking incredible. The Saint. Big fan of. Um, and he was one of the first ones to do one of those spoof movies. Um, Top Secret. Remember Top Secret? It was like mm. Airplane. Yeah, yeah. It's like Major League and yeah, yeah, Hot yeah, Shots. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, and then he went on a fucking run, dude. Of now he's like, what is it in the Expendables or some shit? No, he's oh, got. Like so he's got. He's got cancer. So he's got a. Hole, he's got a tracheotomy. He's got a hole in his throat. So he has to wear a scarf around it um, to cover up the hole, and he's he's got a hard time speaking. Hmm. What's that movie he did with Robert That's Downey sad. Jr. where he played the the gay guy? He was like a gay fixer or something like that. In Hollywood. Oh shit! You remember? No, you remember in Heat? He was in fucking Heat, dude. Yeah, I said Heat. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Please God Chris damn it, man. Yeah. Um, so who's is, got who? Val Kilmer's more relevant than Sugar Ray? Yes. He's got a be- better body of work, but his Sugar book Ray's just still went. Working. His book just yeah, went uh, on the New York point. Times bestseller list. Val too. Kilmer's book. Yes. He his, his biography came out maybe a month ago. You think there's gonna be five. an audio book? Oh, <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> Dan. <laughs> Dan is on one He's today. Fucking uh, no. <laughs> Can you imagine that audio? Is book? it about his life, Val Kilmer? It's his, the... it's his biography. It's about his life. I'm sure he's had a dope ass life. It's oh. called "I'm Your Huckleberry." That's the name of it. It's a good it's title. His. Yeah, I'm really? a big Val Kilmer fan. I have a signed Doc Holiday picture of Val Kilmer. I'm a big Val Kilmer fan. So look at that compliment I paid you. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's a nice one. Yeah, it's a nice one. I mean, he went through some rough patches, but whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah, you've got a Val Kilmer, Sugar Ray. <laughs> I lied about it one night. You yeah, ever lie about anything? What was yours, Dan? No. Not once? I don't care enough to lie. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. I lie all the time, but I'm trolling people. Like somebody asked my name, especially like when I used to go to bars and clubs a lot when I was in my 20s and 30s, early 30s. Um, if somebody, if I knew I was going to be in the same general area, someone I didn't know for a long time, every time they talked to me, I would give them a different name. <laughs> Just to yeah. see how well they keep up, and people like are people are too anti-confrontational, uh, right? To ask you about it, so they just kind of go with it. You can get people to believe anything. Oh, I would just think I'm retarded and forgetting your name every time. Maybe yeah. I forget everybody's names. Same, I'm terrible at it. Yeah, right. but I do. That's the Horrible. kind of lying I do. I fuck with people. Like yeah, I, I could see because there's some we talk. We've been talking about the homelessness here in L.A. Um, I could see Dan being the head of the HOA for the homeless. Yeah, we we're, we've been thinking about starting. Uh, <laughs> Uh, these HOAs for the homeless because look, LA is overrun now. Yeah, everywhere in places that you didn't see homeless people before. There's like fucking entire. You're now things. seeing it everywhere, right? Sh- uh, like, I'm I'm new to this. Shapiro, yeah. used to New York homeless people, they kind of go away. Yeah, yeah, in the winter. Shapiro yeah, yeah. and Rogan were actually talking about the homelessness in LA today. Yeah. We were talking about it on our show yesterday, and then Dan was like, "Man, I I think the homeless need an HOA at this point." Yeah, like because it's getting sloppy. Yeah. We only use blue tarps it on this is. block, sir. You're going to have to move. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Right. If you've got a green tent, I'm sorry, so you didn't get the memo, but this is an all blue block. And you start passing Yo, out there's fines. a homeless. Yeah. I, your homeless <laughs> people out here are a little too comfortable. Yes, dude. The ones in New York, they don't have enough time to like set up. 
No, like, you got to be on your toes. You gotta be in New toes York, you're you. quick. You're eating nuggets off the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. you're jerking off at the bus stop. Yep. Like you're getting shit done. Yeah. yeah you're doing two here things at once. Literally look like they all work at like a farmer's market. Like they're all like they're communities. They literally look like their own little. Yeah. Too, like they, and, and it's it, it. The boxes keep getting bigger. And so are there's, they homeless? There's, there's like three bedrooms now in they one of those. Keep, what's you things. see the ones in New York? You're like, those people are crazy. Right. The ones here, you're like, like if you've got a, this going on, like. Why are you homeless? Yeah, the the buildings that they're it looks like Fortnite. Yeah, they're starting to build, right. It's literally like building with fucking cardboard and fucking <laughs> plywood. And Super shit. nice, dude. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's I don't. It's it's they have like compounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We on the drive in. Do they just want to be off the grid, or are these people just there's a lot of people. No, there was some. Luck. There was someone just right off the the, the freeway. Yeah. So you know those hills that go up on the side of the freeway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We saw a fucking no, they, that thing had to be fucking seventeen eight hundred hundred square feet. I, guess. I looked I it up know. on Zillow. It was five ninety five. <laughs> yeah, it's um, more expensive than my fucking house, probably. <laughs> I, I mean, I, uh, it's gotten so fucking crazy here that yeah, if Dan was the head of the homeless HOA to really unionize these guys and get yeah. them together, because California's not going to do shit it's about, about it. Setting the standard, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean that you could be king of the homeless. <sighs> Can you imagine? That'd Oof. be a good way. Then I win. Yeah, and when I don't know what if you can mobilize them and turn them into like you know when like a rat becomes a super rat. You ever seen those? Oh things? yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah, New yeah. York, rat like king, a thing. Yeah. You ever heard of a rat king? Yeah. You could be the homeless king. They combine all the homeless together. I think Theo Vaughn might take already over. be that guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Theo Vaughn. I think he might already. Theo be Vaughn is yeah, the, well, he's the rat king. Yeah, yeah he was the, the rat king. king. But I think he's probably fucking both, right? Yeah. <laughs> like if Theo Vaughn went out into the streets and just started walking endlessly like Forrest Gump. You would see behind him like the fucking Pied Piper, but it would be goddamn homeless people. Yeah, because he yeah, looks yeah. like he shouldn't live indoors. Well, they need a leader. He doesn't look like he, he does. Does he? Need, he yeah, either. he looks like he grew up in a house where the couch was on the front lawn. Yes. Yeah, he does. Yeah, yes, yeah. absolutely. And he talks like that as well. He's from. And what, the Louisiana? name like Theo is so intellectual sounding. It is. It Theodore. is. I, I've only heard it once on the Cosby Show. Teddy. Or the. Teddy. Is that what it's short for? Or chipmunk. It's got to be Theo. Oh yeah, fuck the, the chipmunks. Damn, dude. Alvin Simon. Vaughn and, uh, is definitely short for Vaughn Hoppenberg. Von yeah, Hayes. some something. Yeah. yeah. You You're, think he's classier than he really is, I mean, and it's right. all front. It's like <laughs> yeah. it's like Dirty. His he's Larry the Cable Guy. We look. We try Maybe to get him on the show. We love him. him. We love. I him. love him too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's funny. But imagine it's all an act. It'd be so great. It'd be well, the Larry the Cable Guy's gotten away with it for literally thirty years now. God bless him. More than that, yeah. Dan Whitney. Yeah, is his Dan real Whitney name. There was a guy we were talking about before we got on air. You, who was buying out tables in New York, and you said he was Larry the Table Guy. Yeah, yeah. There was a, a night in New York at a period of time when people were splashing and spending shit ton of money. The big spenders would literally have nicknames. So there was like a dude named Larry. They used to call him Larry the Table Guy. We're talking about Don Johnson. <laughs> yeah. There was another guy that would come around. Well, Don every... Johnson. That's his real name. Yeah. Yeah. But that's just like a cool name. It Don is a Johnson. Cool name. Yeah, you can't change like, your name from Don Johnson to something else. Yeah, you can't. Be. No, you go Ooh. out, you get yourself a guy. Don Johnson sounds I would, I would like changed it. It's too famous. famous. You go outside, yeah. you go out and get yourself a sports car, and you get a fucking uh, sport coat, roll the sleeves up, and you just go. Yeah. I change it. I talk Johnson. about this all the time. Uh, like, you take like a name like Michael Jordan, right? Mm -hmm. I grew up with a kid who was a white kid named Michael Jordan. It was the worst. But he, his parents didn't name him that because of the basketball player. Like that had already begun. Mm -hmm. Those lives. Had I would already rename. Began. I would ask to be renamed. Same. So, like, the only person that has done it who's taken a really famous name and made it their own was Michael B. Jordan. Mm -hmm. And I remember even when he first started and I saw his name on screen, I was like, come on, dude. Nobody's going to fucking buy that bullshit. You're throwing a B in there? Like, you're still Michael Jordan. Still don't know his name. Really? I like him as an actor, but it's just like, bro, like, everyone's got fake names. Just a branding 101. Yeah. Just yeah. branding 101. You know, it was uh, Michael A. Fox, by the way. It wasn't Jay. Was it? No. The J is a nice touch. J sounded cooler than A. J sounds better than A. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you ever wonder Michael... what would happen if you would have stuck with the A? He probably, probably wouldn't probably be shaking like that. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Damn. Michael A. Fox out there probably fucking There's a Michael A. Fox muscles. somewhere <laughs> pouring a martini and not spilling a drop. <laughs> exactly. It's like Good multiplicity. Job, Once you get to J, Michael J. Fox, that's a photocopy of a photocopy of a photocopy. Yeah. It's true. Michael A. Fox a is probably out the there like an Olympian. Point, yeah. Uh, could you imagine uh, like a, a German javelin thrower? Just Michael, just his sniper. That's how steady his hands are. Yep. Michael A. Fox is a world class well. sniper. <laughs> Michael C. Fox is like a puddle. <laughs> like literally. <laughs> Michael J. Fox can't even hold a set of wind chimes steady. No. Do you have middle names? I don't uh, know. I do. I do. My middle name is Michael. You don't have one? Ru they don't give you one in Russia. Really? Yeah. I don't think it was like a thing. They can't, they can't afford it. 
No, no, no can't. yeah. It's too expensive over there. To get, a, we get another name. Put down in Russia. In line. You got to stand in line yeah. for your middle name. And, and a sack of potatoes. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. the ink is expensive, too. You don't want oh, to have to use that extra ink on there. Were shit. you born there? Yeah. No shit. I was six when I came to America in 1990. Are you worried at all that you're a sleeper agent? No, I'm not. Oh, do you think they might activate me yeah, at yeah. any point? Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm kind of helping disrupt the fabric of this country. Yeah, you are. One sure. shitty merch <laughs> item at a time. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Yeah. Right. Dan and I have a theory of... Um, Russia infiltrating porn over here mm. and renaming it all incest porn. So that way, like over time, this is a long right. game for Russia. Over so they're going to make everybody enough. a fucking beta. And, and then well, the, everyone's, everyone's a cuck. Jack off on yeah. their mom. Or, yes, everyone's and a cuck. We take over. So then in 30, 40 years when they invade the country, it'll be all man buns. I everybody's a, fucking their sister or mom. And then boom, they take us all over and take over. I think it's a thousand year plan. I think their plan is to eventually have us having sex with our relatives. And then producing a bunch of retard babies. Well, mm. jokes on them. I've been doing that this whole time. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've been doing this for a while. Dan only he's an eyes <laughs> close <damn> guy. <laughs> just if so, if you oh, Dan's about a one. I couldn't get. We call him that. a one inch space. I couldn't get through that one inch space though. Holloway. So yeah. he'll only have sex with girls who are uh, eyes are super close apart. If it's more than one inch of that space and they're they're normal, or it's got to be more than four inches. Wait, 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 Like you got to go fetal alcohol syndrome, or like you only whatever like girls one. with fetal <laughs> yeah, alcohol yeah, yeah. syndrome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should come to some of my parties. When <laughs> <laughs> oh my and god! And if, if any of these girls he's dated have gone full term, that's it. Boom. He's he are they legally allowed to? No, no, no. Full term of like they were full term babies. Oh, like yeah. Dan doesn't go anything past seven months. Mm -mm. So if if he starts dating him, he's like, hey man, when were you born? And they're like, oh, 19, so 1985. He's like, no, no, no. What month? Well, like how many months? And if they say the full, well, the full nine, uh, he's out of there. Oh, you like him. He likes to you like him really. I like him medium rare, <laughs> barely legal, barely alive. I like the barely That's alive. Fucked up. That would oh, be a man. good one. Medium but rare. But why can't? There's got to be those genres of porn. There's, there's a website. Oh yeah. There's, there's a website for HA for hey, yes. Listen, there's a website for, called Bug Chasers or something, and it's made for gay dudes to go find other gay dudes who have HIV because they're buck chasers. They want to get it. That website exists. So certainly the there's a website. The CDC for this shit? Hang on. Uh, so like, Zach, put on, put look up, go to Pornhub, and, and there was one porn in particular that was called, brother, I think it was Brother Fucks Retard Out of Sister. <laughs> and I'm dead serious. And I think she was uh, pretending to be retarded, and then he fucks her back. To, to stop normal. being retarded and it was it was like four million views and <laughs> At i was what like point in your porno career are you dead like serious look that up retard just type in retard on pornhub brother and retard and then it, it should come up literally give me like the full South name Park of it. episode yeah uh, it, it's not and i watched it and it was like did he fuck the, retard the out thumbnail of the girl's looking back to and she's like uh, he's like here's a few extra chromosomes yeah <laughs> well they've already got a little bit extra <laughs> right or here's oh wait yeah. he's got it he's got it here it is oh you yeah. don't got it you don't do that, Zach. You don't, you don't cock tease the audience like that. That's not, not true. Porn, porn is like the fucking most racist organization of all time. What? On on Pornhub. Try right down yes. syndrome. Try motherless. <laughs> dot com. <laughs> Motherless.com is the most fucked up legal porn site. In I don't know what that is. It's I've never word. been. It's like the 4chan of porn. That's what it is. You really? Motherless? Yes. Motherless.com. Yeah, Imagine fucked. getting that URL. How much was that? I don't know. Boy. They probably got it way back in the day. Yeah, they probably right. squatted probably, on that. It's probably a squatter. What, what, so what is it? What's on Motherless? Everything you can think of. Okay. Everything. You got something for me? There it is. Reta oh. Okay, so... Yes. So it's on so xvideos.com. 120,000 are just. It's close. It's, yeah, yours, what was it? Or maybe I caught it on the early days and no, I was, no, I'm saying I was those up are all selling your views. it. He's, wa it he's watched it 40,000 times. Right, right. Those <laughs> are all your views. <laughs> Retarded sister was taught to only fuck brother on xvideos.com. She is in, she goes into it. She plays a full retard. This is, and I, I apologize for anybody out there who was born with some form of disability. This is not towards you. This is just towards porn and what I think Russia's trying to do to us. I think that's a Russian video. How am I at fault? You're fucking Russian, dude. You know about this. I Again, know. that's my, that's going back to that point, though. Uh, they don't know that we've been playing an even longer game of not giving a shit about the outcome. Right. <laughs> Clearly. Have you met us? Yeah, right? we don't care what happens. Obviously, look at our behavior, bitch. <laughs> yeah, guess what? You know who's the strongest type of people on the planet? Retards. Will yeah. be. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Our retard army. Dude, you want to talk about retard strength? 
My right. buddy got knocked out by a fucking retard one night at a bar, and like, I, so another friend of ours retaliated because <laughs> he didn't know this guy was retarded. Was he really retarded? One hundred percent at a bar. One hundred percent. And so here's what happened. I, oh god, this is terrible, man. I have it, so many questions. It was a back there. fist, and it went right to his chin, and, and he got knocked out, laid unconscious, and the entire bar stopped. And this one girl, this one fucking girl in the sorority, just screams out, "Oh my god, you knocked out a retard!" <laughs> and Wait, he place, knocked out a retarded person? Y- yes, because he knocked out a friend of <laughs> a, the retarded guy, knocked out a buddy of ours, and so my buddy retaliated and hit him. But to be fair, he did not look retarded, and like. When we when he was on the ground looking face up like a snow angel, knocked out cold. Then you're like, oh, wow, this guy might be retarded. Dude, somebody lifted an eyelid and it was like, oh, fuck, he's full retarded. Outside. And everybody <laughs> ran. I mean, everybody ran. Because yeah, that's, that's a, a hate, that's a hate crime. That's beyond a hate crime. Yeah, yeah, that's that's basically like hitting a child, I guess. Right. Yeah. If you're the retarded law, right? and knock out a regular person, they should become retarded and you become normal. Like leprechauns. <laughs> that's how it happens. <laughs> no, that's right? how... The that's best game That'd be ever. the west, best way if you, that was... I wish God had a sense of humor like that. <laughs> he got a sense of humor about everything else. There should be some sort of like, if you're retarded, yeah, and you beat up a non-retarded person, then you they, become retarded. You switch out. Yeah. Switch. That makes out. sense. I think that's how leprechauns are made. I think so. <laughs> like if you, it's it's uh, if a midget beats up a full-grown person, the full-grown person becomes a midget. I think. And then the midget becomes a person, or the midget's still a midget. Well, that's a good question. I don't see a whole lot more midgets than I used to see, so I don't think it's a latter. Point. No, it's rare. Right. It's getting rarer and rarer in this world. Yeah. You don't see too many midget uh, homeless people. You know what? It's funny you say that. Well, that's employed. because they're all like yeah, super low to the ground, and they're they're not higher than the. I box. think because they're all employed. <laughs> midgets <laughs> are hardworking people. They're they're fucking great. Do you have any that work here? Nah. They you need to get some. They can't reach the screen. It's going to erase this. It's going to erase this. I'm sorry. Yeah. Next you ever time watch here, uh, I'll, make a, I'll have a midget. No, let's put, put up a Craigslist ad for Kirill, please. For that's midgets? just uh, yeah. hiring anybody under 4'11. 4'11. What's, what's that uh, show, uh, Life's Too Short? You ever watch that? Yeah. So, dude, do you remember? Wait a second. There's a midget show called Life's Too Short. Oh, my God. It's, it's the, the guy. Like, that, like on Lifetime? It's the midget from Willow. No, no, I understand that, but like, do they not realize when they're naming them? Like, yeah, I get it; it's funny, right? And it's hilarious, mm-hmm. but they don't see the culture that, like, yeah, in five years you're gonna have to lose all the rights to this and never show this. Like, it's gonna become like cops, right? So, yeah. well, here, There'll be no syndication on Life's Too Short because of the fucking name. Here's well, the thing: t- you remember the old, TLC right? network? Oh, is it? Yeah. So yeah, they yeah. had five midget shows running at the same time, but they didn't call them those. No, they, it was called like Little People, Big World, or something like yeah, that. It's just but anyways, hilarious. TLC they they used to call it the Little People Channel. That's what they said. TLC, TLC to, the yes, because they were all they, the ratings were so gangbusters. So there was a Minnie from uh, Atlanta. She just died in a car accident. R.I.P. to that little oh, that little imagine. lady. Um, but she's gone. Um, but there was a whole string of them, and a lot of them became like alcoholics and abusive. Um, Bridget the Midget was the porn star, and she mm-hmm. just got uh, arrested for stabbing someone, um, and she's uh, facing a murder trial. Yeah, I can understand. I think midgets should be graded on a curve legally. Y- yeah. I think so. They have, it's one of, it's like, I can understand that you have more, uh, you have a different perspective, literally, on life. Sure. It's just, I think that we should grade midgets on a curve. They should be able to get away with more crime. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. You can talk to your local council and maybe it's something to protest over. Yeah. Are there any midgets in politics? They're not even represented. No. They can't can't even reach the voting booth, probably. No. Uh, I think they carry like stools. Do they? Or what? something. Probably. Our ignorance on midgets. Like they've, if you're if you're a little person and you you're having to go through life and shit, you probably should just bring something to stand on, right? Yeah, a step stool or an apple box. Something. Yeah. Yeah. Like why wouldn't you? There was it a, would, I would rather do that. It looked like a dick doing that. No one's going to question that, but can you, like, I guess this is just from my perspective because I'm such a, an introvert, but I wouldn't want to be asking people for help all goddamn day. So, uh, so there was three. Right. You know what I mean? You want to be an independent yeah. midget. Yeah, there was three movies I did with three different independent midgets. Independent midget. And was one of them one brought of them? their own Apple box. Oh, it did? Yeah. It was an Apple box, huh? It was an Apple box. An Apple box. What the fuck is a goddamn I Apple was going to, I didn't want to call them out, but that's a reference from. It's like, a Hollywood term for. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I'm sorry. So it's a wooden. It's exactly what Val you think. Kilmer over they here. used to carry apples in a wooden box. You're talking about Val Kilmer. No, <laughs> I'm talking about Val Kilmer's midget and Willow. Mm. That's the star of life's too short. By See, the way, we brought it all back around. Full wow. circle. Full circle, midge. Pay attention because um, you're watching. Yeah, dude. I'm not going right to leave now. any midge unturned. Like we're gonna, 
we're gonna like connect it. the midges. We today. on and then remidge. Have you guys ever had a midget on your show? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, no. Wow. Maybe the guy wow. from Pirates well, of the Caribbean. Put out a call for the next episode. No, I want a midget. No, was, if I'm gonna have to hire a midget in this fucking office, then there's got to be a midget. You're right. On your we've team. done over 700 episodes and we've never had a midget on the show. Can yeah. You imagine the back problems of the camera guys on these midget shows. We should get a midget producer on the show. Fucking Can you imagine a, dude. This, like he's the only person in the office that has to wear a suit all the time? Yeah. You can't put a midget in a monkey suit. Why not? That's so mean. What no, about we'll, a fucking? I'll, what he's about a powder look blue like tux? The fucking dude, the plane. The I'll, plane. I'll pay what about for a powder blue tux. What about like a Teddy Rock Brooks been <laughs> You should make a midget great. head of security for you guys. It'd be great. Dude, I can call him Tiny. Yeah, 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 yeah. It'd be I fucking run. awesome, dude. But he's just carrying a twelve gauge around everywhere. Yeah, he's just got a <laughs> shotgun. Yeah. Can expose twelve gauge midget with a shotgun. <laughs> God Sounds like damn, a good movie. Midget, uh, with, midget a with a shotgun. Hobo with a shotgun was already made. Yeah, so. yeah but midget with a shotgun, he's got a fucking mini axe to grind. Yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> That's what. Literally, Georgie, you brought up something today on the way in. Uh, why we don't see bum fights anymore? Mm. What the fuck happened to bum so fights? We have World Star. Yeah, literally, you could just everything's out there. But I mean, there's bum no need to categorize it. Just go on Reddit. I think if you became the Dana White of bum fights, dude, it would be the best. Like I can't. You know what? I mean, can't do it this year. But honestly, Black Friday is the best time to film it a is, whole yeah. season of bum fights. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you have to do. It's. I mean, they're literally one paycheck away from being homeless anyway. Yeah. If you're standing in line for six but hours do, for a fucking do, DVD player in 2020, you got to do the weigh-ins <laughs> and everything too, though. The yeah. Way-ins. Yeah. You got to do the shit they're all, talking. They're the all heavyweights. All of it. <laughs> I would, but that's the thing. You can't even do it anymore because people are like you're taking advantage of the homeless. It's like, but you're not doing anything for them. No. So why can't I at least give them a couple hundred bucks for drugs and then I can fucking peddle this shit and make millions? Yeah, yeah. We Sorry, who's getting hurt besides the bums? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, who's? And but they're making money. There's, there's yeah. still a champion. They get to wear a belt. I feel like who's you, not taking advantage of fighters? Yeah, another thing. Same thing. Exactly. There wouldn't be a lot of theft if you just gave all the bums drugs all the time. Is all yeah. I'm saying because they would have no reason to steal at that point. Let's give them you the drugs. cut out the money and just give them the drugs. I've got a weird proposition for a new type of government. You guys ready for this shit? Yeah, go ahead. I've been yeah. high all day. Okay, <laughs> I just want to preface that. You've been writing your constitution. Uh, yeah, it's not even a constitution. <laughs> My idea is like, what if we lived in a society where you work hard for forty to forty-five years, and but you give a great deal of your money away but when you turn whatever age it is 40 or 45 then you go to fucking paradise and all the fucking l- younger people are paying for you so everybody knows in society i'm contributing to my fucking final wh- however many years it's that are going to be dope as fuck okay we're gonna throw that? a wrench in that plan yeah wrench away the world needs ditch diggers too it yeah. does right but you right like, so if you do you dig- want to no, fucking no. be like it some doesn't guy matter that- if you dig a ditch your whole goddamn life at some point when you turn 40 or 45 or whatever the age is based on why mathematics would, then why you- would steve jobs want to fucking run apple if he could we just fucking what, do we really need apple? Lawns? like how i feel like our- if i can put in the same amount of effort as some dude that's like trying to cure the coronavirus and we both cash out with the same check right. at the end of the day yeah i'm just gonna masturbate and fucking yeah. mow lawns that has exactly. been the fucking I would not want that. Age old question, by the way. Yeah. If if you made the same money as everybody else, it's basically basically socialism. Yeah, that that's point, why I'm right? saying it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be it. There would be no Steve Jobs. There would be nobody who was like, man, you know what I really want to do? I just work my fucking ass off and then give it all away <laughs> to this guy. You know? Right. Well, I mean, look, how do you know there wouldn't be innovation though in that situation for real? Like if everybody knows at forty or forty five, no matter what I do, I'm gonna fucking go to this great place. That's the way it is now for the most part. I, here's People what just I think don't would know happen. that they're going to get a payoff. People are still lazy pieces of shit right now. But so let's, say, let's say everybody was even, right? You're yeah. a super smart guy. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of people would come to you privately and say, hey, man, I'm going to save me some money. I was going to get my fucking daughter some braces. I'm not mm-hmm. anymore. I got, this, I got this thing, and I need you to help me with it. Mm-hmm. I want you to do the iPhone thing because I got to keep this normal job so I can go to paradise later. Right. That would probably be what ends up happening is people start donating to smarter people and shit mm. but then it's the same way then these other people would be hoarding money and they'd get richer and richer and like it's yeah, like every drugs system in mexico is corruptible. yeah oh yeah for sure yeah the, and this is just straight up socialism so I'm, i was kidding i would never do that in real <laughs> life. but would you fuck aoc oh yeah okay i mean kidding me Dude, I've... but if, if you came on so you told your girlfriend hey man that this is this is the power move i made today should be okay with it. I don't know if yeah, that would I be a good so. power move. Well, That'd I mean, be a great power move. I guess yes. it would. Uh, totally Anti PC guy. If Kirill was most fucking piece of shit of all time, <laughs> uh, dude, the feminists would lose their minds. 
Yeah. Like, it would be awesome to date AOC. Well, you Plus, saw I the- post butt photos of her, like, on my Instagram yeah. once in a while. <laughs> She'd be on rolling trays. Have you know, <laughs> AOC has no merch. If, if I don't know, she definitely doesn't listen to this shit. <laughs> but I, we would... We gladly do AOC's merch. Put on rolling trays. <laughs> Can we legally Photoshop her? Can we legally the Green Photoshop New her? Deal, on dude. Trays? If it's an if it's a picture that's uh, public, that's a famous picture. Can I of her? Photoshop her on some like? Listen, um, we have a lot of girls that model for us that I like to. I think I told you about this use them for parts site. I want to start. Yeah. Like I can bring in a model and then just slap on her face. I don't know the legality just of that. Deep fake it. Deep fakes are illegal in that way. If you're using it for marketing, then you'd have to pay her some kind of licensing fee. Yeah, there's see. something where you have to change. Like, but wouldn't it be great if I did an AOC rolling tray and she tried to sue me? Because then I would just if there's be a the su- best press ever. It would if be because she though. would drive attention to the fact that there's a rolling tray of her naked, and every single fan of your podcast, yes. and everyone against her would literally give me their money. And if it was a rolling tray and her. you called it the Green New Deal, that would be the best, dude. Okay, so I think I just got to make this. Yeah, yeah. You, I think you have to. My as well. worst part is if, I don't know if you have ever seen like Supermensch the documentary. Yeah, like when he says when they were doing the part where the, he made the band play naked, mm-hmm. so he can call the cops on them, mm-hmm. so he can get some press, and he was like, "We literally couldn't get arrested. Like I can't." But like, I, I it'll just fly under the radar. I know I'll make it. It'll do fine, and she won't say anything. I can't. <laughs> it's it's actually very hard to piss people off. Enough well, we could have all pressed. of our we could have all of our fans post pictures of their shit. Yeah. Like, oh my god! I'm Twitter outraged. and tag it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Outraged yeah. yeah. AOC naked rolling tray. I mean, I, I used it, but I was outraged with it. I think her bush was too thick. If you thick. actually want to avoid the legal outcome and still get the press if you use a picture of her that's like in common usage like the one of her with the w- really wide eyes and photoshop that picture onto another I mean, body I'm a that's photographer legal. guys like yeah. literally i'll fly to new york and go to a press conference she's at if she's at one yeah and then take i the will photo. take that photo yeah. and then i can make the rolling that would be the, yes. it'd be the greatest of all time or i could just pay someone to run down and take it yeah i could probably go and get the images and buy the rights yes mm-hmm. probably yes, like a thousand dollars we're doing this yeah we're trying to catch some heat AOC rolling trays. AOC nude rolling trays. So you can just sprinkle it along or bush and then roll it up and smoke it. Mm-hmm. There it is. Boom. Kirill, this has been a real pleasure today. This was a great little think tank. I just came out this podcast with a fucking million dollar product. I learned a lot. And somehow I managed you guys to promote it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell everybody where they can find you. Uh, Instagram is at Meany, Uh for now. The beauty uh, of it is last time you were on the show, you go, hey, man. My Instagram handle is this, but by the time this airs, I, I come back on again and it'll be gone. And you're yeah, right. Right. Yeah. Literally, I wear the same outfits on every episode that I've done with you. The only time you can tell it's different is just like my, my Instagram. Name is <laughs> so it's just at Meany and the merch store is lindafinegold.com. Yeah. And it's the best, dude. Some of the best made shit on the planet. We are live from his warehouse in downtown LA. <laughs> there's our um, there's dildos, there's butt plugs, there's t-shirts. Nothing. Um, you've got the craziest fucking merch store in, in the biz, and I love that hat, by the way. Thank you. I might, I might have to take that corduroy hat on the I way out of here. I'm to give you one of these. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, for Anthony, Anthony Holloway, Kirill, I'm Ross Patterson. This is the Drinking Bros. Good night, everyone.